talking with Steve Macias, who lives in McKinney, Texas. So Steve, my question for you is, how did you become an artist? My daughter invited me to come to art class, to her pottery class, and I didn't want to attend, but we had a rule in our house. We're not allowed to say we don't like something. If you say you don't like something, you have to try it. And usually we use that rule for vegetables. Anyhow, one Saturday she asked me, I said no. And she said, why not? Without thinking about it, I, 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 it just came out before I could. I, I said, I don't think I like it. So she said, Dad, I got to do it. Now I got to try it. I tried it in my first day of class, uh, right there on the spot. I signed up and started my first semester of pottery. say, uh, are you an artist? What do you say? I'm just, I don't know if I consider myself an artist. I just, I make something. I'm happy if someone likes what I make. That That's what I enjoy is, is you know, if they call it art, I'm flattered. I'm flattered that they, they enjoy it and they use it as a piece of decoration or a piece of art. That's flattering. That I would say, you know, I don't know if I'm an artist, but if someone else feels that way, then thank you. Uh, tell us just a little about this studio, because uh, clearly there's more than one artist who works here. Uh, yeah, we are a co-op, and uh, this building belonged to, it it's, belongs to St. Peter Episcopal Church, and they had the building available, and we wanted a place to set up to our pottery wheels and kilns and all of our, all of our other equipment and they were generous enough to offer and so uh, we kind of have a partnership. We help them with some of the charity events that they run and we get the opportunity to make pottery. And I know you work with uh, lots of different students, with school students, with uh, kids, different ages and adults as well I'm sure. Right. And um, what do you try and encourage them to do in addition to the technical part when they are working on a piece. What's your encouragement to someone who's saying, yeah, I can't do this, I'm not an artist? Yeah, I think let them express their creativity. Mm. Sometimes, just like me, I, I didn't know that I, that I just kind of stumbled into clay by accident. So maybe this is a, a process for them stumbling into their creative. And, and they may not continue with clay, they may go to paint, they may go to drawing, woodworking, some other medium, but they, you know, it's a way for them to express themselves. So I think that's what I would be. That's what I would encourage them. It's find something that, that that you like, and I think it, you know, just give somebody a nudge. They'll find, you know, they'll they'll get going by themselves. <laughs>